Hey, how's it going everybody? So I'm here to show you on how to improve the water pressure for your RO system. So my RO system is in my basement and it goes all the way up to the kitchen and fridge line. It just makes it so much more convenient so I save under counter space but that comes at a price of gravity taking a toll on the water pressure. So I'm going to show you how to improve that and how I did it. And the first thing I did was for um, before the stage 5 filter that goes upstairs, I connected a one-way valve. Uh, this check valve essentially stops the water from flowing back down and uh, causing pretty much extra water leakage and uh, slows down your water pressure essentially. So now I'm going to take you guys upstairs and show you what else I have done. All right, so the next thing I did was I increased my one and four gallon tank into two four gallon tanks right there. And I have them connecting back through to this line over here. And so what that does is it increases the water pressure over here longer. So if I'm filling up a large water bottle, it's gonna keep the constant pressure uh, going for a longer period of time. Although it may not overall help your water pressure by much because you might need an electric booster pump, but that costs more money and you're going to have to uh, pay over $100 plus electricity bill. So I'm going to show you on how much of a difference this really makes. So we're going to turn this valve off. Well, this valve is going to remain on for this four gallon tank. And so I'm going to turn off camera. I'm going to turn this valve on. So you will see on how much of the water pressure it actually makes a difference. So right now that's off, and now that's on. Off, on. So other people also think that a permeate pump might help improve the efficiency, and that is kind of true. So permeate pumps uh, do help bo um, boost efficiency. It acts as another check valve, and it also does um, it's just stop more wastewater from being drained out, but permeate pumps are also another $60 So I didn't want to do that. So after the stage 5 filter over here, which is the carbon filter. I went ahead Come on, let's focus. I went ahead and add another check valve right here and I rearranged the stage 5 filter so the check valve right here sends water going into my split which goes directly into my tank over here. And so, and then this line over here goes to both my ice maker and my faucet right over here. And overall, that will provide you the maximum efficiency without being a, uh, for um, maximum efficiency for pressure without being able to buy a permeate pump or a sort of electric pump to boost your water pressure.